Hello, all my artists. We just listened to a story called Radiant Child about the artist Jean-Michel Basquiat. And now we're going to do a little bit of artwork inspired by Jean-Michel Basquiat. I'm going to put my book aside and I have some paper. I'm going to hold my paper tall today, vertically, and I'm going to use a crayon to draw today. A crayon reminds me kind of uh, how Basquiat used a lot of paint sticks. So the first thing we're going to draw is a crown. Basquiat used a crown as a symbol of things, people that he thought were really important, almost heroic people. So I'm going to start with a crown and make a straight line on one side and the other side. Okay. He even made a painting one time of his mother and he put the crown on his mother because she was so important to him. I'm going to connect it and then I'm going to do the top of the crown. It's really just three triangles. So just one, two, and three. Okay. So point, point and point. There's my crown. Doesn't have to be a perfect crown. So now there is my crown. Now the painting that we looked at in the slide was a crown over a T-Rex. He put it over the T-Rex because the T-Rex is the king of all the dinosaurs. So now we're going to draw our T-Rex. I'm going to do the T-Rex's head to start with. I'm going to curve coming down. All right. I'm just going to come down a little bit. There's my T-Rex's top of its snoot. And now I'm going to come back and I'm going to do the back of my T-Rex's head, the back of a T-Rex's body, and I'm going to kind of curve out for my T-Rex's tail and just leave that there for now. Okay. So then I'm going to come back up to the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a line coming in, but not all the way. Okay. That's going to be the top of my T-Rex's mouth. And then I'm a little line down and over the bottom of my T-Rex's mouth. And I know we still have to fill something in here. That's okay. We're gonna go back to that in a little while and we will fill in the details we need to make it more like a T-Rex, all right? So now we're gonna come back down just a little bit. And the T-Rex has these short little arms, right? So I'm gonna make one line just to come out for right now and another line coming out there, okay? We'll come back to that too. Underneath here is like our T-Rex's little belly, a little curve, and I'm going to go out a little bit, make my T-Rex have his little feet, all right, and come back up, a little line to connect, all right, kind of like a letter U that's upside down. This leg is a little bit, looks like it's bigger because it's closer, and then I'm going to make his little foot here, <coughs> and then I'm going to come back up. And then from here, I'm then gonna connect to our T-Rex's tail. Okay, so there's part of the T-Rex. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to do my T-Rex's eyes up here. I'm just gonna switch over to a different color. Basquiat would make these eyes kind of like ovals on the side, like lying on the side. All right, he made the, um, T-Rex have red eyes. You could do red. You don't have to. I'm going to um, fill those in later on. Okay. Then I'm going to come back. Let me see. And I'm going to do some spikes. Now I'm going to use the red. You could continue to use black. You could switch over to another color, whatever you want. So I'm just doing zigzag lines, right? Kind of like the top of the crown, right? After that, you can start to color it in and add some more details. The other details that you're going to want to add are some teeth for your T-Rex. So remember we did the zigzag up here, the points, the triangles, zigzags here, same thing here, but going down. Because my T-Rex has got to have some teeth, right? All right, pretty important. Now his little arms, I'm going to make a little bit bigger. All right, same thing over here. I'm going to make them a little bit bigger and then I'm going to connect here. All right then you can start coloring your T-Rex in and it can be whatever color you like. So here's my T-Rex. Now, if you want to add some color all going around him, um, Basquiat's paintings were super, super colorful. So what you can do is you can take whatever colors you want and you can fill in the background however you want and really make it colorful. Um, you could make it look like he's on the ground or you could just fill in lots of colors. Whatever you feel like doing, you can use your imagination and put your T-Rex in um, a place that you want it to be or just 
fill in with lots of shapes and designs. And um, Basquiat also would include things like words and letters. So he included, you can see, flags, all different things that were important to him. So if you have other things you want to add that are important to you around your T-Rex, you go right ahead. And I can't wait to see your Basquiat-inspired artwork today. Bye, my artists.